Is the B-21 Raider nothing but an updated B-2 Spirit? I've seen this question pop up a lot in the comments over the past few days, so I thought I'd throw up a quick video to address it. And the short answer is no, but I can see why you might think that. After all, the B-21 was developed by the same folks as the B-2, Northrop Grumman, and it leverages the same radar-wicking flying wing design. However, the similarities between these two bombers isn't even skin deep. It might be best to think of this comparison like your local GameStop video game store. GameStop's been around since 1984, and from the parking lot, if you were looking at a GameStop in the 80s and a GameStop today, they might seem pretty similar. But if you go inside, you will find very different technology on the shelves. And the same can be said for these bombers. Back when Northrop was first awarded the contract to build the B-2, MS-DOS had just been unveiled two months earlier. The B-21, on the other hand, has been developed entirely within the digital age, which means not only were the systems used in its development more advanced, but the systems that it carries on board are more advanced as well. That's a big reason why the B-21 has a secondary mission as an intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platform. In other words, America can use the B-21 to collect intelligence on its enemies, as well as actually engaging targets like the B-2. It also is meant to be flown either a crewed or without a crew on board, a lot like a drone. But the differences between these bombers extends way past the computers involved. In fact, even the skin of these aircraft shows decades worth of improvement in material science. You see, modern stealth aircraft are covered in a layer of radar absorbent materials. Today's RAM is rated to absorb upwards of 70 to 80% of inbound electromagnetic energy or radar waves. In other words, the skin of these platforms eats radar for breakfast. However, RAM is also really vulnerable to damage, and that's the reason why America's fleet of B-2s have to be stored in climate-controlled hangars. The B-21, on the other hand, uses advanced RAM materials that remain highly classified, but are so much stronger that these aircraft can just be stored outdoors, in the weather, usually with an awning. It also means that it'll be dramatically reducing the cost of maintaining this RAM, which accounts for a huge portion of the $120,000 to $130,000 per hour the B-2 costs to operate. So, not only will the B-21 be significantly stealthier than its B-2 predecessor, it'll also be much cheaper and easier to maintain. In other words, the B-21 is advanced in a number of ways over its B-2 predecessor, and although they look similar, they're actually very, very different. I've got lots more to say on the B-21, and I'll be posting more videos as this week goes on. If you've got a pressing question about the B-21 Raider, sound off in the comments below, and I'll do my best to address it.